Hey guys, Average Guy Craps here. Got a weird strategy here for you to check out. It's called the 4x4. And here's what we're going to do. Um, let me tell you what this is for and what it's not for first. Uh, this is not a main strategy that I think I would do on its own. But it, it's good for kind of a side strategy here. One of the pros here is if you have a high seven count, what we're going to be doing in this strategy is we're going to be looking for field numbers and to try to make some money on field numbers. And we're going to try to use the field to kind of feed our field or our horn bets. So what we're going to do is the strategy is we're going to put $4 on the field, $4 on the horn. We're going to make a $10 five, a $12 six and a $12 eight on the place bets and uh, let me uh, let me discuss the pros of this again if you have a high seven count and a low horn count hopefully those numbers are coming you're gonna be watching for that and we can capitalize on that a little bit if somebody's been on a heater and you're 12 rolls in or more uh, this may be a good little fun kind of side bet to try to capitalize on some of those um, rolls as well to see what comes out and you also have some of your bets already pressed up so you're still going to collect uh, as you're playing the uh, other thing is uh, if you use the craps tracker uh, and you have a high median so you know the rolls are going that would be a good time to check it out and this is definitely a strat that I would use on a bubble craps machine uh, it's a lot of back and forth with putting dollars out there on the horn and the field um, so it's not real dealer friendly at a table so I would do this more at a bubble crafts machine the cons of this thing a seven out will kill you we're gonna have forty two dollars at risk so a high seven count uh, or seven outs uh, you lose a lot of money there uh, so we need some time to get some rolls in there the horn by nature is a very low percentage bet uh, so we're not necessarily playing uh, within our favor there and that's not a good thing either again as I said I, I wouldn't play it at a table you're gonna have the dealer working all the time unless you're gonna tip your dealer well uh, that may be a thing to do so let's look at this strat again so again we're gonna put four dollars on the field and four dollars on the horn what we're hoping is if we hit a field bet we're gonna win four but lose four on the horn and we're gonna keep feeding the horn with our field bets if we win a five six or eight we're gonna lose eight dollars but we're going to collect 14 so that is a uh, gain of six dollars so we're still kind of feeding that horn and still taking hopefully a little bit of money here and there on the inside bets there now I've rolled 50 rolls so I can get my tracker up now actually I have 53 and I'm gonna back it up to the 50 uh, <laughs> because it was working there uh, but I, I, I'm gonna start at 50 rolls because that gave my tracker when I look here the twos are right on track with their percentage. The threes are a little high. The elevens are a little high, and the three and the twelves are a little high. So actually, I would have been making a lot of money. And when I first started this roll, it rolled horn numbers like crazy. My median is six, which means I've got an average roll of about six. And right this second, I'm in the middle of a shooter who made a point, and he has eleven rolls in. Uh, so it's a pretty good roll. So. I would jump in and start playing this uh, so here we go so I'm gonna go back to roll 50 and what we had was a 12 which would again been perfect for us we're gonna collect on the field and we're gonna collect on the horn now the one thing I didn't mention is all bets are gonna be on on every come out roll uh, so we're gonna keep it on every single time so let's hit our first roll let's get into the roll here so first roll was a 12 which we won $35 on, which is fantastic. And then we got a three, which is even better. So we won money there. And then we got an 11. We are on fire. This is working great. So now everything's working and we rolled a three, four, seven. So now we're down to a win of 25. So now I'm gonna roll 50 rolls. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the bubble machine again. Uh, my camera fell off on the first three. So anyway, uh, we're caught up now. Let's run 50 rolls and see how this works. So, 459. So, we lost our horn, we won on the field, so we're still even. Let's see, 
let's see. A four, five, nine. Four, five, nine. Again, one on the field. Lost in the horn. It was also the point. So we have a come out roll. Come out roll is a one, three, four. We win on the field. We lose on the horn. We're still even. Six, two, eight. So we win there too. So again, we lost $8 on the field and the horn, but we made 14 on the eight. Again, that was a total of $6. So the three, three, same story. Lose on the field, lose on the horn. We gained $6. So rolling along. And a five, five, 10. Again, that's kind of a push. We win four on the field, lose four on the horn, come back up on the horn. All right, two, six, eight, we win $6, not bad. So again, we're still up. Uh, I started with a $200 bankroll, by the way. Four, three, seven, no good. So we lose everything we had out there. So we're still, we're up $1. Here we go on the come out. Everything is on. And 617. That hurts. So we just lost $42. We're at a loss of 41. Come out roll. We're still on. 459. Okay. That's a push. We didn't lose anything. Come on, horn numbers. We're not. Two, three, five. Again, we win six dollars. We're not in a good position right now with the horn. The rolls are kind of high on the two, the three, the eleven, and the twelve. Six, two, eight. We win six dollars. Two, six, eight. All right. Oh. All right. Four, two, six. Uh, four, two, six. I have not been. Four, four, eight. Again, we win six dollars. So that's a couple six dollars. So now we're only loss of seventeen dollars right now. Three, six, nine. That's a push again. Again, we're looking for those horn numbers. Three, five, eight, another six dollars. So we're doing okay. Nothing great. We're still down eleven dollars total. We have forty-two at risk. There we go, AC Ducey. So now we are up five. We have forty-two at risk. Not bad. That's what we were looking for. And the 12, even better. So we just won uh, $36, right? Uh, try again, 26. Oop, 167, there, take it away. So we're now at a loss of $2. Uh, come out roll, and we are on. 314. All right, point is four. We're at a loss of two. We have 42 at risk. Six, four, 10, it's a push. We win four on the field, lose four on the horn, put it back out on the horn. What do we got there? Four, four, eight. All right, so. We won six dollars. We're still up four dollars. Five two seven. Now, uh, you could pull your bets down at some point if there's only six rolls. You could play this however you want. One four five. All right, we won six dollars. We're at a total loss of thirty-two right now. So we could use a couple of horn hits. Six six, good deal. 
We like that one. Now we're up three dollars. Three six nine. That's a push. Four on the field. Four back out on the horn. Three three six. We win six dollars. And we're up nine. Three six nine. That's a push. One four five. That's our point. So we win six dollars on that. Again, it's a come out roll, and we are working. Three three six. We win six dollars. So we're up a total of twenty one dollars so far. Ooh, five two seven. No good. All right, five two seven. Now we're down twenty-one dollars. So one four five, we get six dollars. Total loss of fifteen. Four five nine. That's uh, again a push. We lose four, win four, put it back out. One five six, that'll get us six dollars. <coughs> Loss of nine dollars. Six six, there we go. Now we're up. We're up twenty six dollars. Not bad. That's what we were looking for. Three six nine, push. Not sure what our roll count is just yet. Oh, it looks like we're at 40. That's a 1-6. All right, so now we're going to be down $16. Come out roll. We got about nine more rolls. We'll see how we end up. 11. Nice. We're back to even. We're right at even. One four five that gets us six dollars. Let's see, I've got about seven more rolls to go. One four five. That's our point. We also get another six dollars and we're coming out. Six seven uh one six seven down thirty that hurt two three five we win six dollars so we're still hanging in there we haven't got beat up too bad by the seven outs at least we're getting some rolls which helps four four eight that's six dollars Three two five, another six dollars. Not bad. That's kind of fun. Got a couple of more rolls. Let's uh, let's end this right. Another four four eight. That gets us uh, back to six down. Six dollars down. And a hard four. That. Uh, okay, so that is 50 rolls. We shouldn't be rolling again. Oh, wait, one more, maybe. Oh, that's right. I got three more because of that. AC Deuce. That is perfect. All right. Actually, I got two more rolls because we started at 53. I forgot about that. What do I got there? 358. That's $6. Okay. 
think we got one more roll and we'll be at 50 rolls. Ah, aces. Fantastic. I'm glad I waited for that last roll. Uh, okay. So as you can see, we did 50 rolls. Oh, I guess we're doing 51 rolls. Two, four, six. Okay. Now, my machine should stop. That should be 50 rolls, I'm hoping. Okay. So, here we are. That is 50 rolls. Uh, we actually did about 53 rolls. But after 53 rolls, you see, we have, we are up $57. Our total bankroll is $257. That's not bad. Uh, again, uh, the rolls were perfect here. Now, I want to show you something on the tracker here. My first 50 rolls that I did to get started, if we would have started, we would have had a great start here as well. We had a 12, a 2, a 3, an 11, a 2, a 12. So the horns were hitting fantastic, and we were at pretty low risk. Now, there was a little string of 7s. That would have hurt us. Uh, but again, it's just an interesting strategy to think about. Again, I wouldn't use it as a standalone, but if the conditions are right and I'm in the right position, I may try this and have a little fun with it. Uh, tell me what you think about this. It's a little uh, crazy, uh, and you could certainly get beat up pretty bad by it. But again, I've had uh, tested it several times, and uh, you know there there are some times that it really does pay off uh, with little you know little risk as far as once you're out there on the board. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this. Leave a comment. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll keep getting videos out to you. Uh, again, you guys have a uh, good luck out there.